Today is January the 15th, 2023. This is Carmen bringing you your daily Bloodborne Remaster update. There's no news on a Bloodborne Remaster day, but we have a couple of things to go over here. So, first of all, Black Myth Wukong has its release window confirmation. Uh, today, in celebration of Chinese New Year, Game Science put out a short little skit, uh, a stop motion skit, really, really good stop motion film. Uh, and at the very end, they showed that Black Myth Wukong is now targeting summer 2024. Uh, very excited for this. Wukong, I think, is the best the best looking thing of the industry upcoming. The best upcoming thing of the industry, I think. Well, FF16 and 7 Rebirth are my most anticipated. I can't deny that Wukong looks like it's just of a higher quality than everything. So I'm very excited to see more of this game. Uh, good to see that it is 100% targeting summer 2024. I don't think platforms are confirmed yet. Would not surprise me in the slightest if it comes out, if this shows up like a PlayStation showcase and it's revealed as a console exclusive. This would not surprise me one bit if Sony Interactive Entertainment published it. I'm not saying it will, but it would not surprise me at all, especially with what's happened with Stellar Blade and, I guess, Lost Soul Aside, but they've been funding that for a while. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And another thing is The Last of Us HBO show uh, came out today. And I know everyone, my, my, you know, people who watch these are expecting me, the biggest Naughty Dog hater around, to really lay into this show and, and tear it to pieces. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> I figured I'd rather watch the Bill, the the Bengals and Ravens game today instead of Naughty, instead of uh, the Last of Us show. So uh, I'll get to that probably Tuesday is when I watch it. But something I will point out that's already annoying me is people acting like, oh, dude, dude, this, this Last of Us show is going to break the curse of video game adaptations. It's like, break the curse. But we have had two great Sonic movies. We had Detective Pikachu. We had Arcane. We had Edge Runners, right? We had we, the, the curse of bad video game adaptations has been broken. But here's the thing. I, I had to remember this. Every time literally anything for The Last of Us comes out, we have to act like it broke the mold. We have to act like it was the greatest thing of all time. The Last of Us 1 came out. It's a fantastic game. Yes, it is. What it managed to accomplish as a video game is is true. And it, like, you can't overstate it, right? Although I think, I, although I would say I am tired of The Last of Us. Like, I played the game. It's in my top 30 games of all time. My top 30 favorites. I am exhausted of this video game. Um, but, but here's the thing. Everybody has to pretend like it's the greatest game of all time. It's the greatest story of all time. It's the most important game ever. No, it is not any of those. I don't think it's the best story. I don't think it's the most important game. Any of that. The Last of Us 2 came out. What do we have to do? We, act like, we have to act like this is the greatest sequel of all time. The Last of Us remake comes out. We have to act like this is the best remake of all time when it is obviously the most lazy, half-done remakes ever. Just It's literally a texture pack. You know, it's, it's just literally a texture pack over the original game. Literally nothing changed at all. Um, even, even when they lied and said that combat mechanics were being reworked, but we're just doing one of that, you know, false advertising is nothing new for Naughty Dog, they did it with The Last of Us Part 2, maybe they'll do it with the rest of their games, um, who knows, and now The Last of Us show is out, and we have to act like this is the greatest video game adaptation ever to break the mold and, and break us of the shackles of bad video game adaptations, when the truth is, this happened a while ago, right, and I don't have my opinions on that show yet, uh, maybe I will watch it and give my thoughts in a video uh, sometime soon. Maybe it'll be like a weekly thing where I just rag on it. But uh, yeah, there's no news on Bloodborne today, but pretty pretty big day, I'd say. You know, Wukong got its release date. The Last of Us is being met with success. Let's be honest here. This show could have been as bad as, as the new Velma show, and people would have still ate it up just because it had The Last of Us on it, right? 100%. Uh... And, uh, yeah, you know, the Bengals beat the Ravens, so that's good, too. But there's no news on Bloodborne today, and that's been your daily Bloodborne remaster update for January the 15th, 2023.